Hello and welcome back to Thomas's Mustache. Today we are going to be doing a first impression of a new product. As in the last video, you could see that I was nearly finished my Gatsby Ultimate Lock Pomade. So I thought today we would do a new Gatsby Dressing Pomade review, first impression. This one here is the Yuppie Matte Pomade. Now some background on this particular pomade is it is supposed to be a matte finish on your hair and it is meant for the casual look as opposed to something more strict. So we must keep that in mind with our first impression. A couple other things is it is very remoldable so it, I assume it does not harden at all. So that would be interesting. And as well, it does have a good hold. I'm under the impression. So we will find out together. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna open this up. I'm gonna have a look inside. You're gonna have a look inside. And I'm under the impression that it will be an interesting recipe. So, opening it up, first time. <laughs> okay. Curious indeed. <laughs> that is interesting. It is a jelly sort of thing. In which some of it did get on the bottom of the lid here. At least we know what color it is. Blue. Now, immediate first impressions. It smells good. It smells better than the Ultimate Lock. That's for sure. The Ultimate Lock smells rather soapy. It's not a bad smell, not at all, but nothing special about it. This has more of a citrusy, soapy smell, <laughs> but citrusy, which is an improvement. Now, for this particular pomade, I'm under the impression that it is best applied to drier hair than wet hair. So, I'm going to use the, well, I'll just dip my finger in here for you. Here is the goopiness. Ooh, not too bad, but I'm going to use it from the lid since there's so much on there and we don't want to waste. It does have a jelly-like consistency, so that's unique. Very blue. Uh, seems like it would be good hydrating properties, so mix it up. And let's see what we can do with this hair. Okay, style-wise, something casual, something not too rigid, not too formal, so let's play with it a little bit. Okay, and without uh, any more touch-ups, I would say that's about all for today. The 
pomade did go in very smooth. It was no, no gripping, no ripping. Uh, did not need wet hair. That's the main thing. It went in smooth with dry hair, uh, which is um, different from some pomades, uh, uh, including its cousin or its brother, the Ultimate Lock, which I found was best with wet hair. Now, I did find that it did lose its sliminess. It did lose its sliminess partway through styling it, so if I were to imagine, I would say it's best to go into it knowing which hairdo or hairstyle you're going to be doing before you do it. Because that prime time of its moldability, easy moldability, is pretty quick. <laughs> and then it, it starts to get a little bit harder to mold your hair. So better to go into it knowing which hairdo you're going to do. And other than that, though, it's pretty good. When we say that it's highly moldable throughout the day, it's not incapable of keeping its shape. Usually when I think about remoldability, I tend to think that it doesn't hold very well. That's why it's remoldable. But I would say that it is holding pretty well so far. And the, the blue in the, the pomade obviously doesn't show. It doesn't turn my hair blue. Uh, this is water-based, so it should wash out very easily. Uh, now, it's supposed to dry with the mate look, which is a sort of dryish look. Uh, so I will keep an eye out. But for a first impression, I would say that it is different. So it's different from the ultimate lock. And that's a good thing, because you don't want the same thing over and over again. Ideally, there, it, it's good to have something different about it. Either this one has great shine, this one is supposed to be less shiny, um, if at all shiny. Um, the textures are different, of course. This one is like a jelly, and this one is like a goo, right? As in, this is more like Jello, you know, the, the snack that you can make. It's more like Jello. This is like what kids would play with when they're young, that gooey stuff. It's kind of like that. But not a bad thing, of course. Quite unique, though. So the Yuppie Mat is unique, special. This one here is 80 grams, by the way, or 2.8 ounces. And affordable. That's a big plus, which is why I buy it, is because it's affordable. And better for longer hair, of course, uh, if you would call my hair long. But, you know, many gels and such go after the really short hair. They want the spiky look. I tend to want something a little more long in, uh, in style. So, quite an interesting one. That has been an experience for me. Continue watching, and in the future we will do a full review in which I will tell you all of the subtleties that I have found. It being, well, not exactly hard. It does not harden. I am very curious to know how this will handle being underneath a motorcycle helmet for hours on a hot day. So I'd love to know about that, and I will find out, and I will tell you. But I suppose I should keep a comb handy when I go out, just in case. So the Gatsby Dressing Pomade Yuppie Mat. First impression, I like it. I'm keeping an open mind here, so we're going to find out.